I don't know about you, but I love water. I drink it constantly, all day long. But I recently learned that it really depends on the time of year that I'm testing the water in my home that's the most important for getting the best quality. Clean the bottom of the surface. James Morey has been fascinated by water since he was a kid. Now I'm gonna let that run for some time. I've got multiple different sample bottles for multiple different things. Now grown up, it seems he has found the perfect calling. For sampling, uh, for inorganics. James is a water system specialist for a company called Skilling and Sons in New Hampshire. When we're sampling and handling the sample, we need to be very careful about where we're putting our hands. And I spent some time with him recently as he meticulously walked us through the process of testing well water. When I take the sample. Filling up test tubes and containers. Some will be sent to a lab. Others he can test right here. Odor is another big thing. James is looking for things like arsenic, bacteria, and radon. All can be potentially dangerous if they show up. Just because your water is clear doesn't mean it's fine. Correct. I mean, arsenic's your, a, a great example for that. It's tasteless, it's odorless. But it turns out the time of year homeowners are testing their well water could dramatically impact the kinds of results they see. So it's really important that we can keep our water supplies free of contaminants. That's Ranjit Bawa. He spent years studying water. I don't know, what is it for us about just having a good glass of water? It, uh, you know, we, it goes back probably, <laughs> um, thousands of years. I mean, it's part of our evolution. We need it. He's also a researcher at the University of New Hampshire who just wrapped up an extensive study on well water. It's up to you as a homeowner to make sure your your well is safe to drink. Ranjit and his team studied 50,000 wells in North Carolina. Many were located near pig farms. They found that in the summer months, when temperatures were over 90 degrees, bacteria started showing up in well water tests. Bacteria not present in tests done during the winter. You know, to someone who's thinking about doing some testing, you'd say what? I would say, you know, test, test your well waters in the summer months. According to the USGS, 44 million households rely on private wells for drinking water. You can see the highest concentration of those wells is on the East Coast. In the last few weeks, the train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, has brought renewed attention to well water testing. Ranjit and James aren't experts on what happened there. But both say disasters like hurricanes or toxic spills, no matter where they happen in the country, often push homeowners nationwide to test their water. And sometimes these disasters can be opportunities to yes. kind of bring some awareness. Exactly, exactly. Private wells are not regulated by the federal government. The only recommendation by the EPA right now is to test your water once a year. Somewhere between six, five and seven. Currently, they don't specify when. You might find or le learn over time that your well is one that's more susceptible to seasonal changes. The test James performed here runs around $140. So one drop. Small price to pay, he says, for a homeowner's peace of mind. You don't do it as often as you probably should. That's true. Chris Conti, Scripps News, Nashua, New Hampshire.